Well, uh, there are p very thoughtful people there concerned about the human factor in uh, warfare and in defense. After all, their job is to defend Americans from pe bad people who want to come and blow up airplanes and do all that sort of stuff. And it's a real fear. It's a real concern, as we uh, sadly know. Uh, but, for example, if you look at the General Petraeus doctrine in uh, Afghanistan and uh, in Iraq earlier, the first thing was to find out about the people. Who are they? They're not just furniture. And so uh, one of the things that it's possible to do in an organization like the Department of Defense is provide some insight into how human beings are likely to behave. For example, if a whole lot of foreigners come with guns. They're not going to like it. They're simply not going to like it. And so we see recently President Karzai in, of Afghanistan saying that you know he's going to join the Taliban. Well, he's tired of these Americans, particularly after President Obama came to visit him to give him a rebuke about his corruption. What Obama thought was corruption and what Karzai thinks is just being a decent relative to his brother and all the other people that he's got to be responsible for. So those are some of the issues that uh, are necessary to understand in the world of, in a dangerous world, and I don't see any problem in doing that. What causes somebody to get on an airplane with bomb in, in his underwear? He's got a belief, and uh, he didn't get that belief from uh, eating a, a Kit Kat bar. He got it from some discernible series of events in his life that convinced him that this is what he should do, put him in contact with bomb makers and various associates who provided him the airplane ticket and the like, and he ended up, as it happened, getting caught. But uh, there was a, a human trail there that, that could have been tracked. And uh, in future, there will be another such event, and uh, if we can catch it, well, good. If we can't, some lots of people will die. Mm -hmm.